Want to try this rice ball idea? Pork floss rice ball. Let's make it. But we're not gonna make it like the teensy rice balls that I usually make it with, more like onigiri, a smaller triangle-like shape. If you haven't had pork floss yet, go try it. It's salty and savory and also sweet with a coarse cotton candy-like texture. And it's honestly too easy to gobble up. I used to eat this straight up as a kid and my grandparents would have to put the pork floss tub in the highest cabinets because I just wouldn't stop eating it. So I'd use a chair when they weren't looking and grab some more. But if I wasn't eating it straight up, I loved eating it with rice. And you could just snack on this separately on a plate with rice, but hey, if you're good at making rice balls, it's fun. Why not? And you can decorate it with all sorts of things or nothing at all. I just punched out the paw print because it's the one cutout that fits the teensy triangle. Not the fish, because people might think there's fish in here. And that's it. Fairly simple. The pork floss has so much flavor in it that I really didn't feel the need to flavor the rice. What other rice balls should we make? 